Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. A lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. Brother, come on back here, man. Reach us up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knowing his owner. The Bible said the ox knoweth his owner, man. Hey. See, the thing is, when you know your owner, guess what? You know the things that your owner says. You know what he does. Guess what? You know his rules and regulations. He said the ox knoweth his owner, man. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass. They ain't so know his master's crib, man. You can take a donkey 80, 80 miles down the road. But guess what? He's going to go back home, man. Read. But Israel, but, home, but, but Israel, Israel, but Israel, do, do not know, uh -huh. my people do not consider. Israel don't consider, man. See, y'all don't consider. Y'all think that when we come out here, sister, we say, sister, get out those pants, man. The most I told you that you need to have a dress on, a modest dress or a modest skirt. Guess what? Y'all think that we made that thing up, man. I'm going to read the passage that the sister got and watch me break this thing down. And brother with the red outfit on, pull your damn pants up, man. Hey, 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 hey. People see you walk around with your pants up, man. Throw your pants up, man. Because guess what? They wait for you down in the penitentiary with your pants down that low, man. You be down there watching drawers, man. Hey, hey, hey. Pull that on your lips, man. That's right. You better straighten yourself up, man. Oh, read. Seven. Matthew 7 and 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. The Bible said, judge not that ye be not judged, man. We coming out the Bible, man. Now, we need to give some explanation to judge not that ye be judged. Because obviously people mindset is going in a different direction. It said, judge not that ye be not judged, man. Read. For with what judgment ye judge. It said, for what judgment ye judge, read, ye shall be judged. Ye shall be judged. So that means, guess what? If I'm telling around right here, telling this brother to pull his pants up, hey, brother, what's your nationality, bro? <coughs> guess what? What's your nationality, bro? Give me please that's a 75. So if I tell this brother to pull his pants up, because guess what? Somebody down there waiting with your draw, with, with you walk around with your draw down, they're going to put some Kool-Aid on your lip. That means, guess what? If I'm walking around here, with my pants sagging, that same judgment will come up on me. That's right. So if I ain't out here doing that, guess what? I can judge that brother and righteous and tell him to pull his damn pants up. Because it's in the scripture in, in, in 2 Samuel chapter 10 and verse 4. That's right. We had to tell That's our people, right. man. We had to show them the way, man. Dang. We had to show them and to prophesy against this wicked kingdom, man. Which is called America, man. Read. And with what measure ye meet? Uh -huh. It shall be measured to you. See, guess what? He said, what measure we need out here, read. It shall be measured to you again. It shall be measured to you again. Hey, Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness. Y'all keep the Sabbath. I can't tell it. Yeah, I know. That's the one. Else. He know who I'm talking to. Can't even turn his head. Hey, what color Christ he is? Just answer the one question. What color Christ? Can, come, can somebody come up here and tell me what color Christ he is, man? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can somebody come up here and tell me what color Christ is, man? Huh? Y'all can't tell us that, man. Because I'm telling y'all why. Y'all don't want to. Hey, little sister and little brother over there. What color Christ? What color Christ? See, they don't care. They don't consider, man. See, our people don't consider none of those things, man. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4, man. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Give me Acts. Give me Acts chapter 5, man. Verse 29. See, because a lot of people come with their own philosophy. Did you, did you get the Ecclesiastes 75? We're going to read this for this brother. Cause brother hey, brother, what's your nationality, bro? I'm, 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 I'm from the tribe of Judah, bro. That's My right. nationality is Israel. What's your nationality, bro? 
Yeah, you got you got the you got the mute buzz in here. He cooled in the other side of the pillow, man. Read this up. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, verse five. Uh-huh. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. Now guess what? We giving out the rebuke of the wise. That's the correction out of this Bible, man. Read. Then for a man to hear the song of fool. Now that's what he doing. Bro, you out here listening to songs of the fool. You out here smoking cigarettes, bro. But you know that body that you got don't belong to you, bro. Bring it out. That body don't belong to you, bro. You all the gentlemen. Do you know that body don't belong to you, man? Do you believe, you, you, do you believe that? You don't believe that that body belong to you? Guess what? Why you smoking in, bro? See, they just do things without cause, man. Our people don't forget who their God is, man. Our people don't forget who they God is. Give me Hosea 8 and 14 right quick. What you got? You got JT 17 and 4? Give me Hosea 8 and 14 right quick. Drop that. Give me Hosea 8 and 14. Break it out. Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. But the Lord said, who's going to discontinue from my heritage that the Lord gave us, man? And a lot of our people don't know who they are, man. But we have to tell y'all who we all are, man, according to the Bible, man. That's right. Hey, brother, let's drink that drink. Let's look it up in the sky. They got the glasses on with the head turned to the back. All gray outfit. I call your whole dang on outfit out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yes. I'm talking to you. Brother, you too, bro. We see you down there. You with the black hat on that's right over this side of the trench. We see you. You was down there talking to yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Brother, you, you full of that whack down there, man. You need, you need to shake that, man. We had to call y'all out, man. Because y'all need to change y'all life, man. We out here to give y'all the correction to help change y'all life, man. That's right. Read up. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So y'all know we serve our enemies. We get up every week after week, day after day, going to that job, man. We serving them. Hey, brother, you can change, brother. You can come up out of that thing, man. I'll praise you through that cigarette away. You don't need that no way, man. You don't need that, man. You got to show the people, man. We royalty, man. That's right. We got to move as, as, as if we were royalty, man. This Bible shows us on how we become royalty, man. Hey, brother, you leave the drugs alone, man. You leave the drugs alone, man. You can change that, man. You're a young man, man. The most I put good breath in your body, man, that you was able to stand up on your feet, man. Guess what, man? You got to stand up manfully, man. Give me First First Kings chapter two and verse two, man. Bring it out, bring it out. Stand up manfully, man, for our God, man. Read this up. This is the book of Hosea, chapter eight, verse fourteen. For Israel has forgotten his maker. What What the Bible said? For Israel has forgotten his maker. Because Israel has forgotten his maker, man. We forgot who our God is, man, and what he have done to bring us to this point, man. Everybody want to run and catch these trains, man. Y'all should be doing the same running, coming over to get this word, man. Y'all want to run around. Guess what? You going to make it to know who no he is, man. Because them Jehovah Witness, man, get what they doing, man. They ready to come out here to, to take away the word, man. They don't know they being led by Satan, man, to take away this word. That's they right. don't know that, man. But we had to bring correction to them. Put in that blue shirt over there, the Jehovah Witness. Put in that white shirt, Jehovah Witness. And you too, the Issachar over there with them, man. Y'all from the tribe of Judah. You from the tribe of Issachar, you so-called Hispanic, man. Guess what? They won't teach you that in Jehovah Witness, man. But we had to tell you. Hey, sister, you know you're not the Bible, sister. See, because they don't want to know, man. Look at that wood hair on that sister, man. Them my peoples, man. They don't know who they are, man. But we are here to tell them who they are according to the Bible, man. What God? Read that again from the top, huh? For Israel has forgotten his maker in village, temples, in Judah, has multiplied fifth cities. Because that's what Judah did. We multiplied these fifth cities because we thought we had protection, man. Ain't no protection in Judah, man. Because just because we the lawmakers, guess what? We the lawgivers, we ain't no, ain't no protection there, man. Because we don't forget our God, man. That's right. Free. But I will send a fire upon his cities, and they shall devour the places thereof. Because guess what? The most high sent the fire upon our protection, man. He be sent the fire. Guess what, man? When, I, when you see the holy prophets being slain in the street, guess what? The most high done it too. Because guess what? We didn't need no protection. Y'all think we can do it without God? Guess what? This is the, this is the outcome. 
you brother walk around with that pants pulled down, man. You see grown, you see, see 50, 60 year old men sagging in their pants, man. You see sisters out here hard out, man. Better give them brother everything they got, man. Just don't tell nobody tomorrow. Come on, man. And both of y'all gonna die in that thing, man. You brothers don't know how to be no man. Y'all wanna be niggas, man. Read it up. This is the book of First Kings, chapter two, verse two. I go the way of the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Hey man, what's your nationality? Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yeah. That's what. Get ready for captivity, man. That's right. Read. That's right. That's right. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in His way. But the Bible. This is King David telling King Solomon on how to become a man. And guess what? This is some of the things that we need to be taking heed in our nation on how to become a man. Because a lot of people that look like men, they sound like men, they walk upright like men, but they're not men because they don't live like men. That's right. That's Some still right. children, man, and they don't know no better. But guess what? That's why we. That's why the Lord took the priesthood from us, man. Guess what? Now everybody got their own opinion. Hey, man, why I feel... No, I feel we'll get you sent to the pits, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Three, to keep his statutes and his commandments. That's how you become a man, by keeping God law, statutes, and commandments, That's man. Right. That's right. That's right. We can't play the game, man. But guess, guess what, man? Brother, you know I counted this mic just to get you too, brother. Break it out. You know you need to be on this side. Guess what? You know better. <laughs> guess what? You must do better. Give me James 1 and 22. You Break got to out. do, brother. Brother, you got to do better. You got to do better. That's why the most I sent you down here, because you needed this, man. Your spirit is need to be fed, brother. And you had to get your beans today, brother. That's right. Guess That's what? right. Not just today. Guess what? For the rest of your life, you need this feed, this spiritual feed. That's because right. you were once fed this way, but you right. went this way, brother. You need to come back home, man. Give me your uh, Luke 15 and 10 right quick. Preach this up. This is the book of James. Chapter 1, verse 22. Uh -huh. But be ye doers of the word, uh -huh. and not hearers only. So brother, you got to be a doer of the word, brother. Not just hearers only. Because the thing is, guess what? Brother, you've been in this truth for what, three, four years by now. We know your spirit, brother. You got a good spirit. Guess what? Sometimes things happen in this walk that you might not agree with. And sometimes things that take place in the people that you be around, you might not like the conference that you like. But you need to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added to you, brother. That's right. Check it out, but guess what? Some of the things that we didn't like, but guess what? We here with the battle axes now, man. That's right. That's and we're right. building this thing, man, from the ground up. And we got your hour shots being our king. Yeah. And we got yeah. our man, father, man. And we praise that thing, man. And we're going to do what the Lord says. That's why, we, that's why I meant the most high calls you yes. to do this thing, too, brother. You want God's chosen people too, and you know that thing, man. You should be helping, come over here, helping us build brothers up on the ground up too. Because a lot of brothers just not waking up to the truth. But a lot of stuff that you know that you could help a brother along the way, brother. That's right. And this is your calling, brother. You got to, you got to walk ye in it, brother. Reach us up. This is the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Because that's what we try to get Hallelujah. brothers to do. Make brothers to come out here to show God's word so the angels in heaven going to repent because they know it's close brothers are going home too. And you know it too, brother. Look at our condition. You know the end. But all this stuff that I'm saying here is something that you already know anyway, man. This is love. And you know what love is, man. You love what love. You know what love is. You did and all the basic scriptures, guess what? The captivities and all that stuff, we can go through that all day long, but you know it. You got to be steadfast in this walk, brother. Break it out, you got to come gather with your people. Your people, give me Zephaniah, man, chapter two. Give me Hebrews 10 and 25, man. You got to be coming gather with your people, man. That's a commandment for you to be doing. You got to come build with your brothers, man. That's right. But guess what, man? Guess what? I'm gonna tell you something, man. In a spiritual side, the most high building Jerusalem right now, man. That's right. That's right. This is the Jerusalem that the Lord building, man. He building the temples right now in Jerusalem for us, man. Right in front of the nations, man. The people can't see this, man. When you see people, when you see another person wake up, that's another brick that's gonna be added to the building, brother. Right you understand that, right. brother? Reach this up. This is the book of Hebrews, 
chapter 10, verse 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. So you, you can't forsake the assembly, brother. You can't you forsake the assembly, brother. Yeah, yeah, you win. Come on, we give you a word. Come on, brother. You got, you got time for that cigarette, brother. Come on over here, man. Oh, we gotta go out. As the manner of some of some ill, but exalted one another and encouraged one another. Guess what? You being here, guess what? Even you, brother. Y'all come and build with y'all people. Man, look at the condition of our people, man. Y'all know this shit. 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 This is not our homeland, this is not our destiny, man. But guess what? They got all kind of devices out here that's gonna take us away from our God, man. Just think about our forefathers got sent all the way over to America. You think they came over to America and started celebrating 4th of July? Thanksgiving? We didn't have nothing to do when they, when they sent us, gonna sent us over here. And even when the Native Americans was over here, they didn't have, they went over here, just over here. Yeah, they, some of them went out. They went out like mud. Brother, give that brother a fly, brother. You drop that secret, brother. Nah, I ain't right. The Lord right, brother. That's right. This is how we exalt one another. Read that over again. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaken the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is. As the manner of some is, brother. But some people don't want a silver, brother. You want one, one that want a silver, but keep it a thousand, brother. Read. But exalting one another. See, just like we call that brother over there, that's exalting that brother. Trying to help that brother to show that brother the way, man. Guess what? If I shall fall and you my brother, you should be there to pick me up, man. That's, that's right. how we exalt one another. You understand that, brother? Read. And so much the more as ye see the day approach. And we see the day approach. We damn sure see the day approaching, man. This, this day is approaching fast as we as it can, man. But guess what, man? As we watch and pray, brother, guess what? The exalt never stops, man. When the kingdom comes, they ain't gonna have to teach you, brother, know the Lord. We all gonna know him, man. That's right. We all gonna know our God. We ain't gonna the, the forgiveness of our maker and who he is. No, we're gonna know who he is. We're gonna know what he stands for, we're gonna know his rules. Guess what? That ox ain't gonna no more know his own. Nigga ain't gonna forget his owner no more. Guess what? And he said that. He said the ox know his own and the man ass his magic crib, but his don't know. We gonna know who our God is, man. We gonna know who he is, bro. Read. This is the book of seven nine, chapter two, verse one. Gather yourselves together. What the Bible say? Gather, gather yourselves together. together. Uh -huh. Ye gather together. Uh -huh. Oh nation. Not desire! Because this nation is not desire, man. Our nation ain't desire. Look at us, man. Look at our condition, man. Hey, sister, come on over here and get this word, man. It spins all around us, man. We need brothers to help brothers pick brothers up, man. To pick sisters up, man. To pick children up, man. That's right. right now, people focus on, guess what? The kingdom. This book is to build us up for rulership. This book is to build us up for ownership. This book is to build us up for greatness, man. A lot of people don't want that thing, man. A lot of people that don't want, they don't want it. Guess what? They don't have a desire in their heart to have it. And guess what? The most high stop their ears up because they don't want the desire. Hey, what's y'all nationality? Y'all Hispanics? Y'all are the Aztecs? That's the Edomite right there. Huh? That's the Edomite right there. Hey, y'all are the Aztecs? What you say? She don't know. A lot of them don't know. Guess what? That's why I say Israel don't know. That's the Edomite secret. Well, I don't know what he is. I know what he is. But the thing is, brother, we out here to build with you, man. That's why I gave you the fly, brother. You got our numbers on there, man. You need to call us and get with us, man. Because guess what, man? We know we know the hunger you got in you, brother. You need to get fed, brother. That's right. That's right. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know that this word feeds us, man. Give us our daily bread all the time, man. But guess what? A lot of people don't want the daily bread, man. A lot of people walk around here, they hungry, don't even know they hungry, man. You can see the condition of our people. They'll let you know how hungry they are, brother. They'll let you know how hungry they are, man. You need to become gathering with your people, man. We're going to see. Guess what? He said, if you know better, you'll do better, brother. That's right. We're going to see, man, because we want our people to come. Hey, sister, come on over here, too. Sister. 
Bring on over here, Nehemiah. Sign up like the Apple. Come on over here, sis. Come on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what's this? We hard to get along with. Come on over here. Get the worm out of us. That's right. <laughs> uh, I know he don't like. Hey, sis, come on over here, sis. Hey, sis, I'm asking you a question. You know your nationality? What is it? African American. She got a pamphlet. Sister, I'm asking you something. Is your father a so called black man? Your father, your earthly father, is he's a so called black man? What is it? Yeah, well, if he's a Hebrew, then what you are? You the same thing, I'll praise you. You're a Probably be from the tribe of Judah, sister. But guess what? Just not knowing who you are, it's gonna get you to the kingdom. It's requirements for that thing, right? Do you know the requirements? Let's go get, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. Let's go get it some some requirements. See, because the thing is, even not even just knowing you, there's a lot of people know I'm a Hebrew. I can't tell you. because from the Hebrew Israelites I know they follow God's laws. That's right. You understand that, sister? You give me a Deuteronomy 10 and 12. You give me Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 28, verse 15. Verse, uh, give me start at verse 1. 28 to 1. Where you going to down to verse 15. Uh huh. 28 to 1. Hey, sister. You're going to give you a little edification. Okay. You got a little time? I do. Okay, I'll praise you, man. Uh -huh. I'll praise you, but sister Spirit read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God. He said, if we listen to the voice of the Lord our God, you know you is a light too, brother. You know that, yeah, you, you too, brother. But don't deny who you are, brother. Because you ain't saying it to us, you saying it to your God. That's the thing, brother. We call everybody out, no matter how you want to take it. Guess what? What's your nationality, brother? Huh? Yeah, well, you might be from the top of Issachar. Hey, we already know his nationality. His nationality, Esau. That's right. That's right. That's Esau in the Bible. His nationality is the captivity. His nationality is definitely captivity. That's right. Because right. right. you got to know who you are. See the norm. See the thing is. If we don't know who we are, and we don't know our requirements, we'll continue to keep doing the same thing. You understand this, sister? We'll continue to keep being niggas. And guess what? Bitches and hoes. And nothing to all the rest of these nations. But guess what? When you find out you're an Israelite, and you find out the requirement of the Israelites, and you find out the things you must do, you start living like an Israelite. Guess what? And the knowledge of your understanding about you, guess what? They can't sit up and call you an African American. Because Africa come live from Leo Scipio's Africanus. And America come from America Bass Beach. And y'all two white men. Did you come from two white men, sister? Damn, we do not, huh? So we got to find out who we are, right? How we identify is through the curses and through the rubbish chapter 28, right? And we're going to go through that, but so you can get some understanding. Reach it up. Chapter 28 and 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, Above all nations of the earth. See, this is this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. Just like us, like us talking to you right now. You one of the children of Israel. We talking to you. Just as Moses was talking to the children of Israel, he said that we will listen to our God. He's gonna set us high above all nations. But guess what? Are we above all nations? Sounds like we're at the bottom right now, no. Jump down to verse 15. We at the bottom. Because we didn't listen to our God. That's right. That's right. And he's been explaining this in the scripture. See, because the thing is, you can tell we the best of the best. They can't beat us running, fighting, dancing, singing. They can't beat us in nothing. But we're in the bottle, right? You never thought about that? Like, dang, how they can never beat us in nothing, but we're at the bottle. There's something to that, ain't it? They know, they, they know, they, they know who the superior is. Read this up. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy God. He said if we don't listen to the voice of our God, see, sister, because that's what's wrong. We didn't listen to our God. If we'd have just only listened to our God, we wouldn't have been in this mess. 
past. But guess what? In the last day, we waking up to that thing, though, sis. That's right. And we starting to come back to listen to our God and do what he said to do so we can be able to get the kids. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Y'all's weapons of war. Chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Bring it Good out. morning. And the gates thereof land. He said the real Jews are in mourning. And the gate, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black.